Well, hello everyone. Good afternoon here. Just at the summit of Snow Squalum Squalum Squamish Squamish Snow Squalmish or something like that. Snow Snow Yeah. Over the pass. If it's written out in front of me I can read it. Or I can say it. I-90 eastbound from Seattle. Iron Horse State Park. And there was three big rigs and one pickup on the side of the road, all with their hoods open, climbing this pass. People overheating. My truck was overheating like crazy too the last three weeks and um, you just have to realize you have to now shift down, drive slow, watch your water temperature. I mean it could be me broken down someday too but having such a large amount of vehicles broken down. And yeah, get your, get your ride cleaned out. So much nicer now, not overheating all the time. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. My truck says it's 31 Celsius, so it's pretty good temperature. Lots and lots and lots of construction. More construction coming up ahead. Basically doing my uh, hydrated line run from Vancouver to Yakima. Quite enjoy that run. Did, did it last week. Had what? Yeah, Customs wanted to know if Jess was a co-driver or not. I'm like, no, nope, just a professional passenger. Well, what am I? What am I loading in Yakima? I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you don't know what you're loading? No, I don't. It's like I'll find out tomorrow once I've unloaded this. Sometimes I run back empty. Sometimes I don't. It's like I don't know what my life looks like tomorrow till tomorrow. Lane ends, but when does this lane end? Why is that lane so slow? Looks like we've got a military Humvee here and a military something. Uh, there's several military vehicles here. That's why we're so slow. Got it. Military. I understand. Of course, the wide load isn't going to help. Yeah, we've caught up with him. He keeps uh, pulling over. He's definitely quicker than us, so he's not super heavy. But he's wide and long and very awkward looking. That looks like those 8x8 uh, uh, eight eight military rigs. There's uh, five of them. Looks like they unfold to become something, but I don't know what they would become. We got 
five of the same type of weird dome shaped ones and then there's a different one that looks like it's some kind of maybe water filtration machine or some kind of machinery might be generator generator and then a humvee on the back oh there's another one way up ahead too so there's at least eight military vehicles No point in trying to get into the passing lane because there is no passing until that wide load clears on a road like this. Not going to be clear for a while. Construction zones, after all, are narrow. Big dam over there, I guess, for this lake. I'm not sure if it's for uh, hydroelectricity or just for irrigation. Definitely a man made lake. My Volvo is getting impatient there and No signal. I think she's gonna pass that truck there, huh? Sheesh. I can see a Volvo unsafely passing that uh, wide load. I don't know, I just think people are ignorant and just don't know better. I don't think people are stupid on purpose. people are getting past the wide load now. If I remember correctly, there's a bit of a climb coming, so do I or do not do I not attempt to pass? Slowing down. 